Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a huge issue to non-farmers, and that is fertilizer, or what Darren and I call plant food. All right, if we're going to be using fertilizer or plant food for our crops, for farmers, they want to try and minimize their costs. They want it to be the least expensive that it can possibly be because fertilizer is very expensive for farmers. Now, if you're a non-farmer, you're probably thinking, well, I don't want farmers to apply any more fertilizer than they absolutely have to. Hey, guess what? We're on the same page here. We totally agree with you. Farmers and non-farmers can completely agree on this. Now, when we're using plant food, what we want to do to minimize the expense for farmers and also to be the best we can be environmentally speaking, we want to use that fertilizer efficiently. So there are a few things that farmers are doing. One of those topics that we're going to discuss is called banding. And another thing that we do is split apply or spoon feed the crop. Before we go any further too, let me just say there are a lot of people that will say, oh, you can't use fertilizer and all these pesticides and everything else and these unnatural products. I'm going, how do you get more natural than fertilizer? We dig it out of the ground and we spread it over a field. That sounds pretty natural to me. It's no big deal. It's in nature already. We're just spreading it out on the field. But to take it a step further, what we want to try to do is spread it at the right rates in the right areas of field. So what we will do to get the best efficiency out of any fertilizer product we're going to use is first understand our soil. That's why having a good soil test is incredibly helpful. So what farmers will do is they will grid sample on their farms quite often. We have even the free Ag PhD soil test app that allows you to grid sample using your smartphone just to bring you to certain areas of the field. You pull a sample, throw it in a bag, and then you get results back. By grids, what we're talking about here is basically kind of like tic-tac-toe, where you draw some vertical lines, you draw some horizontal lines in your field, you set it up so you've got five acre little squares, or maybe it's two and a half acre squares, depending on what you pick for your farm. But on our farm, it's mostly five acres. So in every five acres, we go to a spot, we pull a few cores of soil, mix those together, send it in for analysis. That's how we do a grid sample. All right, so we figure out what nutrients we need to apply to that acre to deliver the right nutrition to our crop. The next thing that we'll do is figure out when to put that out there. And when I talked about spoon feeding the crop, what farmers will look at is when does that crop actually take the fertility up? So for example, will there be some fertility put on in the fall? Certainly there will be. We've got all this residue out here and this residue from this year's crop needs to break down. And so all the little soil microbes are going to require some level of fertility out there, especially nitrogen, to start breaking down some of that residue. And then early in the spring, we want to have this fertilizer available for the crop. So when those little seedlings get started in the spring, they have plenty of food. Then as that crop starts growing a little bit taller, farmers will make another application of plant food out there so those plants can continue to grow. And by putting out a little bit at a time, as many farmers will do, especially in lighter soils and soils where we're just concerned about holding all that plant food at any one time. Time, farmers have found they get better gains with lower amounts of fertilizer that way. So that's what we call spoon feeding. Banding is the other big thing when it comes to getting the most efficiency on the farm. Most university studies will show that the immobile nutrients, things like phosphorus, potassium, zinc, that don't move very well with water in the soil, if you band those, in other words, put those right in the row where the plant can absorb that fertilizer pretty quickly, you can use a lot less fertilizer. In many cases, 30, 35% less fertilizer than if you were to spread it across the entire field. And let's field. just contrast that to your lawn. If you, if you ever spread fertilizer or plant food across your lawn, well, you spread it everywhere and it blew all across the lawn and you put it out nice and even everywhere. Well, that's fine because in your lawn, you've got a plant just literally in every square inch of the entire yard. But in fields, like this cornfield that we're standing in, there's only a plant every 30 inches out here. So by banding, we're just putting fertilizer in a little strip every 30 inches through the field so the crop can take it up yep, the most But the other thing is, when we talk about efficiency, if you place the fertilizer down in the soil a little bit and have it in a concentrated band, then there's less chance for erosion. There's also less chance that you're going to get tie up from other soil nutrients. Because what can happen quite often to farmers, we talk about this very often with farmers and phosphorus is they spread a bunch of phosphorus out there and the calcium or the aluminum or the iron or something in their soil will bind together with the phosphorus 
before the phosphorus gets into the plant. So you've got phosphorus in the field, but it's sitting there in a form that the plant can't absorb. That's not good for the farmer. He doesn't want that either. So by banding the fertilizer, he has less chance for that tie-up because it's in a concentrated band that's more efficient. Well, it's certainly a great story for farmers across the country to tell about how they're managing the plant food that they're putting out on their fields and how they're doing it efficiently so they can apply less plant food but still get maximum crop yields. One other thing that farmers are very careful about in their fields is controlling our weed of the week. We'll show you how coming up later in the show.